everyone welcome to today's session in this session we are going to learn about scatter plot correlation coefficient pearson correlation coefficient different types of graph for correlation with its coefficients and how to calculate the pearson correlation coefficient here i have given as calculating r okay first scatter plot scatter plot is this is like a just like a graph uh, which is drawn between two two set of variables okay the the variables can be either row vector or variables is like either row vector or column vector so we have already data inbuilt data set in the matlab let me load a data set like that low c mount this is the data set available with the matlab if you load it you will get 1 2 3 3 variables which is uh, three variables here x y z and these three are column vectors of 294 cross 1 so let us draw the scatter plot for this scatter x comma y is this is the scatter plot for x comma y scatter plot is usually drawn between two variables if you give more than one variable you will get the error like this x comma y comma is it See, this is the error here okay scatter of x comma is it if i give the two variables we'll get the scatter plot without any error yes we have got the scatter plot so now the marker which we have used is circle and it is in the blue color if you want to change the color and if you want to change the marker into star you can give like scatter x comma is it comma i want the marker as star give it in the single quotes and i need it in red color give it in quotes r okay now the scatter plot will look like this yes it is in star and this is in red color so this is all about scatter plot you can change the marker with whatever you want and you can change the color or for red g for green k for black you can refer help window in the matlab for this so this is the scatter plot and the scatter plot command you use is scatter okay scatter it is only used for it is it can only be used for two variables x and z either it can be a column vector or row vector so this is the column vector why I mean, sorry this is the scatter plot why we have learned scatter plots at this point is it is necessary while learning the correlation coefficient okay so what does mean by correlation coefficient these is used in the statics to measure how strong a relationship is between the two variables okay if the two variables are uh, very correlated the data i mean graph will be like very linear one very uniform one either in the positive direction or in the negative direction so we can visualize using the scatter plot okay next how to calculate the value how i mean how co strong correlated how, and the value is how calculated this is calculated using some of the technique i mean some of the formulas which we will be learning in the later part of the video so now uh, what is mean by correlation coefficient if a variable a b is there if, uh, why why we need to learn correlation coefficient if a variable a and b is there uh, to check how strong a relationship between these two variables the correlation coefficient is used okay in most most of the uh, machine learning algorithm or statistics we will use only peers and correlation coefficient so that is what we are going to learn in this session so, okay so what are diff uh, let me learn let me show you different types of graph for correlation with its coefficients okay. This is graph for positive correlation, its R is equal to 1. This is graph for high positive correlation, its R equals 0 0.9. This is graph for low correlation, its R equals 0 0.5. This is graph for negative correlation, its R equals minus 1. This is graph for high negative correlation, its R equals minus 0 0.9. This is graph for low negative correlation, its R equals minus 0 0.5. This is graph for no correlation, its R equals 0. I guess you people have watched the different types of graph, different types of graph for correlation and you have also seen the R values below these, uh, R values for these graph. So how to calculate the R values, okay? R values that is here we are going to learn about uh, how to calculate the R value for Pearson correlation coefficient okay the first step 
first step is step one is to uh, choose the variables x and y these variables should have should contain either the row vector uh, or column vector okay two variables x and y okay step 2 step 2 find the mean of x and mean of y okay step 3 subtract the mean of x from every x value from every x value and call it as a do it same for y and call it as b okay uh, first uh, let us execute the first three steps let me go into the matlab i have created the uh, i have created the script already see a is equal to 1 till 10 so we have uh, we have created a vector 1 to 10 and x is equal to a square which means square of a and y is equal to cube of a so these are the variables which i am going to choose x and y so what is the first step choose the variables x and y here i am generating my own variable you can also generate your own variable or you can also use your <coughs> sorry you can also use your own data i mean experimental data set okay now uh, we have declared, I mean, we have chosen the variables. Now, let me plot the scatter, I mean, we have scatter plot for this, okay? Scatter of x, comma y. I need the markers in star and it should be in red color, okay? So, I have did that and after that, what is that? I have to find the mean of x and mean of y. So, in the MATLAB, let me find the mean of x and store it in the B and mean of y, let me store it in the C, okay? mean of y and then what is the next step i have to subtract the mean of x from every x value and call it as a and and we have to do same for y also so see here i have subtracted the x from mean of i mean mean of x that is x minus b and i have stored it as i didn't called as a a and b i have called as b1 and c1 in this program okay so this is what the next step okay next what is the next step step four what is the step four you have to calculate what is in the program b1 b1 multiply by c1 and you have to uh, find the square of b1 of b1 and square of c1 okay you have to find the uh, multiplication of b1 and c1 here a and b i have given but in the program you can see like i have given b1 and c1 you have to find the multiplication of b1 c1 and uh, square of b and square of c see i have given i have used the dot operator here right for dot operators i mean for vector operation you cannot use direct multiplication or direct division you have to use dot which means that you are multiplying the each vector element so this dot represents you are multiplying the each vector elements with the other uh, with the next vector element okay corresponding vector element so for this we have to we have we have to use dot okay See here we have to find, now fourth step is we have to calculate B1 cross C1 then square of B1 and square of C1. That is what I have given here, uh, I have did here. B1 cross C1, square of B1 and square of C1. So what is the next step? Step 5. What is the next step here? 
we have to sum up the each value sum of b1 cross e1 and then sum of sum of square of square of b1 and c1 okay we have to find the sum of square of c1 and b1 see let us look into the matlab now i have sum i mean for this i have used the command sum sum of bc product and sum of b square and sum of c square so that's all next we are going to apply in the formula so our formula for r is equal to sum of a cross b i mean sorry b1 cross c1 okay sum of b1 cross c1 divided by square root a or e square root of sum of b1 b1 square multiplied by sum of c1 square this is the formula okay so r can be calculated by sum of b1 cross c1 divided by square root of sum of b1 square cross uh, multiplied by sum of c1 square so this is the formula see what i have did is i have calculated the product like sum of sum of square uh, b square and sum of c square and denominator we have to take square root i have did that and finally r i have calculated this is the formula i have split the formula in three steps here so let me run this simple program for correlation coefficient the graph will be like this this is the graph i guess you have seen uh, in the previous video clip it is similar it is not perfectly correlated but it is correlate highly correlated which have correlation value 0.987 according to pearson correlation coefficient okay you can have you can have as many examples and you can work out this examples using the same code if you want any code do ping in my uh, facebook page or mail me i will be sending you the code or you can pass the video or you can you can pass the video and copy the code for your working okay for next that's all for the today's video so i guess you have learned how to plot how to do scatter plot and what is mean by correlation coefficient and why we are using pearson correlation coefficient and you have also seen different types of graph for correlation with its coefficient and finally we have all calculated the r using pearson correlation coefficient okay that's all for the today's session meet you in the next session until then take care bye